the sharing of a class with two teachers. It's not just sharing a course, but we're actually physically in the same classroom teaching together. Sharing everything in the course from the planning to the evaluation process to having in a, a larger class size, but all of those students belong to both of us. So I think the benefit of the student in a co-taught classroom is they get to work with two separate teachers who very well may have different styles of teaching, but they also get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. So if, if Kelly's teaching a class and I'm sort of uh, monitoring or walking around the group, students that may have a question that they might not be comfortable asking in front of the whole class, we can do a little one-on-one. -on -one. We can provide different types of instruction to the students. We can collaborate with smaller groups. For example, one thing that we do with our students is we expose them to a different way of learning certain topics. I think co-teaching can be a great benefit for a teacher because traditionally teachers are alone in the classroom. They have their way of teaching and they're never exposed to seeing somebody else's way of teaching. So I've learned a lot just watching Lucas teach. So I think that's a great benefit because some of the things that I really like that I've observed now I can incorporate in my own teaching in other classes. You get to learn a lot about their style versus yours, not only in teaching, but also interaction with students within the classroom. So picking up on those little things as as one person's instructing, the other the other sort of monitoring. You, you just sort of learn a lot about um, things that you do differently and how you can improve your own practice. So some advice that I would give to new co-teachers would be to definitely set aside some time to plan with your co-teacher. It's important to make sure that you have a similar set of classroom norms, classroom rules. So just being really, really open to the new perspective that you're you're going to be working with in the classroom. You have to be flexible. So you're teaching to someone potentially you've never taught with or interacted with, and they might do things differently than you. And instead of being resistant, sometimes you can really be open-minded and you can learn from them. You try to use the language of we instead of I.